Hello, mindful parents. It's Christine Pedersen here. And it's November, so I'm really focused on gratitude this month. Thanksgiving's coming up and the holidays, and it tends to be such a chaotic time. So I love making the extra intention to stay grounded in what we appreciate and what we're grateful for even as the sort of whirlwind of activity um, <laughs> overcomes us. So starting out the month with that intention can be really helpful. There are a couple of ways that I like to help families stay focused and centered on gratitude. And the first one is to remind you that you don't have to do a lot. So your gratitude practices don't have to be overwhelming, they don't have to be time consuming, and they don't have to be contrived. Try to think of cues or prompts that feel in flow with you and your kiddos so that you're more likely to repeat them every day and as part of your routines. I love to use gratitude practices in our morning routine. I actually have a cue that as I'm walking the kiddos to the bus stop or we're driving to school that I ask them, take a deep breath, what are you grateful for? That really helps me to have that cue of leaving the house, getting out the door, taking a deep breath and checking in a little bit with myself and with them. Another way that I love to check in with gratitude is really quickly when the kiddos get home in the afternoon, reconnecting is really important. I find there's less argument, there's less grumbling, whining, etc. when we can walk in the front door and I just literally sit down right after we take shoes off, open my arms and let the kiddos come in and have a moment to sit on my lap on the floor. We don't go any further and we just have a moment of connection and snuggles. Usually I will ask what happened today during school, recess, math that you're grateful for. Sometimes I'll ask, who do you thank today? And that actually started out as being kind of a difficult practice for my kids and I, because they couldn't really seem to remember who they thanked. But when you ask them to be conscious of who they're thanking, they go and remember to connect during their moment of gratitude, when they share their appreciation or they give a thanks the next day or the next week, and you ask them, who did you thank today? They know because they did it more consciously. And it's so cool. It has made me a lot more conscious of how I am sharing my appreciation with the people around me. I remember it and I hope that they remember it too because I'm taking a moment to pause and really make it a special connected moment. Another way is using a formal grat gratitude practice. So that would be a gratitude journal. I used a gratitude journal for many years and decided to buy my kiddo one when she was old enough to read and write so we could practice gratitude together. But my four-year-old was not happy that she didn't have one. So I was stapling pieces of paper together for her so that she could practice gratitude with us. And when my brother came to town, he took a look at those and he said, it would probably be pretty easy to make a gratitude journal that was visual. So we sat down together and we turned the gratitude journal prompts into visual images for kiddos to evaluate how they're feeling during the day and share a little bit about what they're grateful for, best parts of their day, who they love, etc. So please check out the Joy Journal. It's on... Amazon Joy Journal for Kids is going to be the quickest way for you to find it. And it is on sale for $7.75 this month, down from $10. So I hope that you check it out. I hope that you share some of the things that help you practice gratitude with yourself, with your partner, with your family in the comments. And mostly I want you to know how grateful I am to share this space with you. This parenting experience is challenging. Sometimes we're not grateful and that's okay. You don't have to contrive it. You can wait for the inspiration to come your way. Trust that and honor your ability to share your authentic experience with those around you. I am grateful for your ability to do that and for your contribution to this sweet community of parents we have here at Mindful Parenting Revolution. Thank, thank you.